Hi everybody. Well, I think this is like the third time I try to make this video. The only problem I think I'm having with this camera is that sometimes it stops recording and I don't, I don't know why. But, um, other than that, I think I just, uh, you know, had like another 25 second, um, or less upload time on a crappy cut up video that I'm not even going to publish, but it, it was my camera that was giving me all this trouble. Excuse me. So now, um, I'll be shit camming the, uh, bloggy cam for the time being. Unless I'm going to go someplace or whatever, I'm not going to be using that thing anymore. This is the one I'm going to be using. And let me tell you that this little camera was only $18.88 at Walmart. And so Logitech 110. The only thing that I don't like is that it doesn't, like I have it on my laptop thing right now. And I suppose I could put it anywhere, but it doesn't clasp onto my laptop like the other ones do yeah. have. But it must like fold and you can put it here and there and everywhere. So right now I'm in love with it. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on um, my mom. She got out of the hospital on Wednesday. I kept her overnight, extra night in the uh, hotel because I didn't want her to come home and start working right away. She does home care in her house uh, for some other people in her home. And, um, and uh, I didn't want her running around. I wanted her to relax. So I took her back to the room, and she got out like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, which was exactly 24 hours from the time that she had this surgery. And, um, and she didn't have to come home in yet with the oxygen this time like she had the time before. And she also, um, doesn't, isn't as confused like she was before. However, she had had a stroke, small stroke, before that last surgery, and then she had the surgery, which was fairly traumatic. And it's a big surgery. They cut you, when they do that, they cut you from here to here, all the way down your artery. And then he goes, like, a millimeter, I think, at a time, scraping, 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 a layer at a time, a little bit at a time, until they get it all done. And um, it took almost two hours. Um, so anyway, she's recovering beautifully. Uh, I took her out to eat dinner last night at Village Inn. We had eggs and pancakes. And on Wednesdays at Village Inn, if you love pie, they give away pie on Village Inn, at Village Inn, on Wednesday nights. It's called Wednesday Pie. Wednesday Pie. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it's called. But anyway, they give you this pie for free. Not all the different kind of pies that they have, but my mom and I got apple with cheesecake, apple, apple cream cheese pie. And, um, and uh, it was really good. But we didn't eat it. We took it to my daughter today. We only tasted it, and then we gave it away. But it was delicious. So if you love pie, you better go to Village Inn on a Wednesday, because they'll give you some free. Um, then we went back to our room, and we had these maniac freaking neighbors. Oh, and let me tell you what I did to them. Anyway, they were so rude, and they had a bunch of kids with them, and a dog, a barking dog. And every time that they would make noise in their room next door, my dog would bark. And it kept me up. I got, I, that's why I'm so exhausted, uh, because I didn't get any sleep last night. And the night before that, I was scared by myself after I tried to go to bed. I was wishing I brought my gun. And I was like every, looking out in the hallway because I was hearing noises. And then I was like, I wonder if this guy next door is the kind of guy that drills little tiny holes in your door and watches you while you're getting undressed. So that bugged the heck out of me. And then I was, it was like the shining down there in the nighttime because I was in the bottom basement by myself, you know? And the sec that one night, it was only me and that guy on that whole row. And then the next night, I think I was all by myself on the whole row. But then last night, Balloon Fiesta starts this weekend. The International Balloon Fiesta starts this weekend. So 
Um, there's millions of people in Albuquerque. The traffic is outrageous. You can't even get a room. And they were already starting to check in yesterday, and and they party. Bottom line. Uh, balloonists love to drink beer and champagne and party. But anyway, they were so rude and obnoxious, and every time, like I said, they would make noise, my dog would bark, so I was up to like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I woke up at 7, and my mom was up and wanting to get going. Really? I was like, where do you want to go? She was like, well, I, I want to get my errands done because I want to go play cards at the casino. My mom, I just had a surgery. She was like, I know, but I, I, that's what I want to do. I said, all right, well, right on, let's go. So that's what we did. And we had a good time. We really did have a good time. We didn't win any money, but we had a good time. Um, then that's why also we got home so late. But anyway, so we did that. And then I wanted to, oh, I wanted to tell you what I did to those neighbors. Anyways, since they kept me up all night, when I got up at 7 a.m., popped on MTV, glared that baby. And every time I went out the back door, boom, I slammed the door just like they did it all night long. Boom, 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 like five times. I was like, come on, people, it's time to get up, rise and shine. <laughs> You don't want to piss me off and keep me up all night and be my neighbor next door. Because I'll make sure you get a taste of it. I was so pissed off. I threw beer cans all over outside. And just acted like fools. And they had rotten kids. These kids were making so much noise. I couldn't even believe that there was even a parent available. But anyway. Got going from that, and then yesterday, um, let's see, not yesterday, but the day that my mom got out of the hospital, uh, I'm so confused because it's midnight, so it's really Friday, but, um, Wednesday, when I went in to meet my friend from school, Mike, um, the boy that was sweet on me in high school, um, that was the meanest feeling that I have experienced in quite some time. I don't think I've been that excited to see somebody uh, since uh, about two years ago when I was reunited with my friend Barb Stefanik um, from high school, who's just a little love bug, and found her on Facebook, and and uh, we've met up quite many times. I, she runs around with my daughter quite a bit now. And, um, you know, I just love Facebook. It's just a blessing. I know that a lot of people hate it and despise it and say terrible things about it and it's, you know, the devil and da 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 But I have been reunited with so many of dear people from my past. I feel so blessed to be able to have those people still in my past, still in my life from my past. And I found so many family members that I've been separated from and, you know, stuff like that. It's just, it's just a blessing. But anyway, we met at Chili's in the parking lot. Went in, he drank five Diet Cokes, and I had one strawberry lemonade, and um, we sat for about almost two hours just talking and, you know, talking about what we do and our mates and just what has gone on in our lives since we were in a part. I mean, obviously, we didn't talk about everything, but very quickly recapped. I mean, we really did. And got, you know, pretty well caught up. And we are going to get together again. I think we'll probably have, like, a cookout or something. And I'm going to invite him and his wife. And he has two daughters, um, close to my daughter's age. So, anyway, might invite his family if they want to come, too. But for sure, him and his wife. And, um... Anyway, it was just great to see him, and I'm, I'm telling you, though, I would not have recognized him. Had, if I did not have seen those pictures on Facebook, I would not have recognized this person. I, um, until he smiled. And then his eyes twinkle a certain way when he smiles, but there's no, no doubt that that is him. But he has changed so much since we were in high school. Everybody tells me that I look exactly the same, um, that I haven't changed a bit, but he has really changed. Oh, I'm going to show you speaking of change in a bit. Let me go get this. Be right back.
she got this picture of me when I was pregnant with my youngest son. You can't see it, but I was um, about eight months pregnant. This is me when I was 20, 29 years old, right before I had my son. You know, women my age, every one of us must have these glamour shots because they just had started taking them down. And it was the thing to do. But mine look exactly like I looked anyway. They, they, they didn't get much of a change out of me. But that's me at 29. That's me. You can't see the makeup they did very good with this light. How do I look the same? Anyway. So, thank you everybody. I've got a few nice notes in my inbox checking in on my mom, just a sassy ass girl, uh, and um, a few other people. Thank you very much for checking in on me and wanting to know how my mom was doing. Everything is going to be fine. I really do think my mom could, I, honestly, I think my mom could live to be, uh, you know, like 90 or 100 now because she's. Like, her, her arteries are now, like, uh, you know, a 40-year-old. That's cool. Maybe even younger. I don't know. But anyway, I am so tired. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to try and make, uh, I wanted to make a video tomorrow. Oh, I got, I went to Walgreens, and I got um, some new simple colors for Halloween, black and orange. Oh, they have some beautiful simple colors right now. God, it bugs the heck out of me that they're so expensive when they're in season. They're like, you know, I, I hate to pay $5 for a day polish when I know it's going to be on clearance for a dollar in a month. But I did. And I got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of Halloween, like, um, decals and stuff. So I'm going to do a little nail, nail dilly tomorrow, probably. But anyway, thank you, everybody, and be blessed. I love you so much, and peace, and I will talk to you very soon. Good night.